Well, the White Sox offensive woes continue. No runs on four hits. They also made three errors. They did have six walks, a season high, but they left nine men on base and they get shut out for the fourth time this season. They've played 10 games. It is White Sox post game live here with the legend, the legend. The real. I was first calling someone a legend on this network. You got that right. <laughs> No Come on, Shriffin. No respect. Stealing my line. No respect. No respect. Come on, John. <laughs> Steve Stone is a TV legend. Yes, but this is the legend. Oh, Ozzy oh, Gian. Honorary John. You gotta, you gotta be nice with Steve. Yes, yes. You stay. It's okay, Shriffin. You can yeah. call John and call him the legend. John, yeah. You better be. You <laughs> be nice to Steve. Be very in the booth. nice. <laughs> You're a nice kid. <laughs> yes, he is. All right. So uh, what's not nice is this White Sox offense. Um, I, we've kind of been doing the same show for a week and a half. We should record it and bring it then tomorrow. Home. Yeah, so here, guys, that's what we got. <laughs> they, they, had some, I mean, they had walks, a little more patience today. These are the baby steps we're looking at right now. You know, know. That was good to see. Uh, yeah. They had more base runners, but nothing. I, I, feel, like, I feel like I got to stay in my house all day without go anywhere. Why? But people asking me what's wrong with the White Sox? What's yeah, going on? What like, I, oh my God! Like very brutal. Like, come on, come on, let's go. Look this and that. I say, I just talk what happened after <laughs> the game. That's that's my job. I cannot say I cannot do anything out. But it's people have been pretty you no know, nasty, but like a lot of questions, a lot of questions. Oh, if I want nasty, ooh, if I want nasty, it's right here on the phone. Okay, by the way, tomorrow... On Twitter, my they, God. If they play tomorrow the way they play today, yeah. tweet is up. Tweet it to us. We are respond. Oh, you, you want to hear... You want questions from Sox Yeah, fans. for us. Yeah, we can do that. Yes. We can do it regardless. Maybe we should do that. On the show tomorrow, let's open it up to questions from the fans. Yeah, what we think, what we don't think. Okay. All right? Yeah, I think we have to do that. That's a great idea. We're going to pick the nastiest one. Oh, you'll... Like, chalk... <laughs> <laughs> You're a White Sox fan. We hate you. You, you carry the water for the organization. You, 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 you're a Jerry's bubble. <laughs> <laughs> That'll likely be That will be asked. Yes. Jerry, you're a Jerry's yes. bubble. Chuck, you are responsible for all of this. I like that. I get it all. I get it all. Uh, Garrett Crochet. Highlight of the season for me, off the field. Off the field. Is what Garrett Crochet said yesterday. Where he's like, hey, guys are starting to get, in his word, pissed like i want to you know I, these guys i'm sure are pissed they have to be pissed but like i i want to at least f s get an, a sense that they are just as mad about the outcomes as the fans are and well, it, it sounds like it's happening uh, you i i really be more embarrassed than pissed you'd yeah, be I mean, more you're, you're upset you're upset personal inside yeah. but golly the way they the way the offense going down i think i think obviously People can expect them to score 10 runs and 8 runs every night, but mm -hmm. being like that for last 10 games is, is something that you just, you don't know what happened. You don't know what to say, what to do, what yeah. to express. You're just watching the same, same, same at bats over and over and over. Uh, there is a way to fix this. Yeah, I know the hitting goes number 17 in the last two years. <laughs> no, that is, I mean, you could always try that, but no, that is not the answer. Okay. Here is the answer. It's very simple to fix this problem. Roll tape, our first tape in the show. The White Sox are five for 55 with runners in scoring position. And those are five singles. They keep making, I mean, she'd say hit that ball on the nose, but they're batting 091 with runners in scoring position. There's a man on third. Like, other teams convert on these consistently all throughout baseball. And once upon a time, the White Sox used to do that. But time after time after time, and it is, I think it's at this point, mental. Yeah, it, it has to be mental. I mean, this is, I mean, and Ben Attendee actually hit that really well. That was Lee, that was Lee. But I mean, this is an epidemic right now. It just, I don't know why. I think it's, you know, good stuff. You put it, you know, I mean, everything, all the sun, everybody started hitting well. It's like, it's like a, you know, I mean, it's kind of weird to describe that. You know, I mean, it's, uh, it's something, uh, it's hard to describe, it's hard to explain to people what happened. I, I, you know, me, I played for a lot of bad teams in Chicago. I don't remember being this bad offensively. I, I, we might be, but it's kind of hard to do. My theory is, sitting on this set, is that, and I, I, mean, I want to speak for every single player in that clubhouse because I haven't talked to him about it, but 
as I'm watching, you've played the game. It's so mental right now that when they get up there, they're thinking, okay, I got to produce now. There's a man on second. I got to produce. I got to produce, that, that, which is the worst thing to be yeah, thinking. It's opposite. You got to sit back and say, I got to get good at bats. Yes. No, you don't produce. You're not good at bats. You're not going to produce. Try to get good at bats. How are you going to get good at bats? Make sure you don't chase. Make sure you just swing one pitch and stay with your plan. Mm -hmm. You have a plan, stay with them. Not in the middle of the, the, in the, middle of the bat, you change your plans. On the next at bat, you change plans. Like every at bat, you're changing your plan. Every at bat, you're changing something. Every at bat, oh, last at bat, I was a little up front. Oh, I got to stay back. Oh, so stay back. Uh oh, I'm too late. You know what I mean? Just stay with your plan, believe in yourself, believe in what you can do, and make it work. Because just start going around and around to see, I try to fix it. Yeah. Yeah, do you know what, too? Nowadays, it's too much information out there. Yeah, well, you have access to it if you want it. Too much information, too much laptop, yep. like looking that bad. They don't look in the picture what it, what it, what it did to my, my teammate. Mm -hmm. You know, it's too many information. You go to the ballpark, it's like, hey. Yeah, yeah, too much. All the song when you see a guy pitching, like, oh, my God, who's pitching? Roger Clemens back? Because he throw this, we two through, he throw this one, the three two, he throw this pitch. He, he, behind the count, he lucky, you know what I mean? He don't let the players go out on there. I, I like the information, that's right. Don't, don't get me wrong. But sometimes too many information when you go to the plate, he just he, he, he and not, they call he it not paralysis ready. by analysis. Yes. It's your name. And if you're uh, the opposition, you're a pitcher like, oh, I get the White Sox. All of a sudden, you're feeling more confident than you would have if there was any other team out there. So there's a lot going on here. At least they walked. Last, last couple of days, that was progress. Swinging, 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 swinging. Yes, you know I mean? yes. That's this gives least. me hope for tomorrow. Hope for tomorrow. Tomorrow's a night game, too? Tomorrow's a night game. Why, you need some time to rest? Uh, no, I, I need some time to don't talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> we get 24 hours off and oh, I talk about uh, this White Sox struggling team. So I think we're going to stop that, guy. So on the pregame show, I'm going to get into a series where I was like, hey, who's the one guy you got to stop? I went with Jose Ramirez because he's damaged my soul. He was my pick to click for the Guardians. If I, had, if I could have counted a pick to click for the Guardians, I would have maybe won today. But uh, I guess that doesn't count. Right? Well, Quan did a pretty good job, too. You know well, we're going to show you Those Quan. two guys, man. Those yeah. two guys, you know, you that was your see, guy. You can see the difference at bats between Quan's and, you know, obviously Quan is pretty good. Yeah, pretty he's good special. Player. You know, we're not, okay, not going to make an exception about these guys better than others. Yeah. Look at this guy. But uh, it just when you guys could lead off, you always have a chance. You always got to have a chance to have a good day. All right, well, here's uh, Stephen Kwan. He got three hits today, batting 328 against the Sox in his career. I mean, he's got the speed, obviously, put the ball in the right place there. You see? He just put the ball, he didn't try to hit a home run, he try to lift the ball. Just, did you see that? Yeah. that uh, exit velocity. Oh! Exit velocity. That's an Ozzy Gaines By the way, right there. two hits. Extra velocity, like 91. Negative 91? No, no, more like 40. Look at that. Another Look at blooper. these three hits. Three. We go home, I hit him 335, guys. Oh, I hit the ball hard, but I'm, I'm going for 15. That's the problem, by the Believe me. Oh, you want to hit a... Hey, there is exit velocity. You want to exit velocity? You got exit velocity. That's the, the one I love. The one for me to count. Yeah. Exit velocity is, 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 is right there. Boom. Boom. That day. Yeah. He that wasn't was a bad awesome. pitch either. He bad pitch a little bit away, up and away. Look. That wasn't a good And pitch. they got, hey, a, a, a Latino. Every pitch <laughs> looks good for them. Then no matter what you throw, Latinos, you see that they, they, they just see everything around the plate all the time. All right, that's off his former teammate, Brian Shaw. 32nd career home run against the White Sox for Jose Ramirez, his most against any opponent. I have been on the set here for all 32 of them. <laughs> <laughs> Again, he has damaged my soul. You at home, you have probably not watched every single White Sox Guardians Indians game over the last six years. You've shut it off. You've been doing other things. I've been sitting right here. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> I sit there by myself. I yeah. curse more than anything out. Yes, yes. Oh my God, I have to prepare myself. But okay, I got to be in the set. Be careful. Don't be acting like you're acting. Yeah, when in you're the green room, watching, yeah, watching the green, on TV. Be careful, please. Yes. All right, here's the field of coverage pitching recap brought to you by uh, Liberty Mutual Insurance. <laughs> I mean, under the circumstances, I'm taking this 10 times out of 10. I was a Bullpen day. The White Sox do not have a fifth starter as of now. Tanner Banks gives up one run, but for those first two innings, he was unhittable. He had five strikeouts in two innings. What did you see from Tanner Banks here today? He threw a lot of strikes, man. He, you know, he went after the guys. His breaking balls have been good. Fastball high. Look at that. 
It's a tie there. It's just, it's just something you gotta look at it. Mm. Another, good, good, another good breaking ball, sink it down and in. You know what I mean? That ball run in through the, through the righties. I, I thought the ball great, man. Yeah, I think yeah. You know, he, he, just, he, he just did. He's been kind of like a... Uh... Are you checking your phone? For no, I, was, I just want to check the, the kid's name, the one I like. The one you like on the White Sox? Yeah, he just pitched the last three, last three innings. Oh, that's Jared Schuster. 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 Why don't we talk about Jared Schuster and show you what Schuster did? Because the Sox put John Brebbia on the injured list. Schuster comes up, throws three scoreless innings. You know, the Sox are looking for a fifth starter until Mike Clevenger is ready. Now we got to watch three innings of him for the Braves last year. And what'd you see from him? Good. Yeah. And I got good stuff. Command the ball very well. Command the ball very, very good. Uh, he, I, I like what happened. He got himself in trouble. I need himself out of trouble. Yeah. That's one thing when you when you mm. start the game that happened. You see this guy, he was around the play. Look, yeah. fastball 93 seemed like it was 98. I think he hides it a little bit. Very well, look. Because the fastball 93, 94, it looked like 98, 97. Yeah. And that's what you know what I mean. Like I say, you're a lefty and you throw the ball around the plate, man guy, you can make a living out of that. And yeah. that thing is if they're looking for a fifth starter, when the Clevin just coming in, you got it right there. Yeah. So his situation last spring, he was uh, he made I think he made the Atlanta Braves rotation. He was like the story of spring training a year ago. Then he struggled. He was he was the fifth starter, struggled big time, ended up in the minor leagues after struggling in the major leagues. And here he is. So he's got a lot of potential. I think he's a first-round pick. Frank yeah. would like that, first-round pick. Be, be that, you know, it's a first-round pick. Frank Thomas, I see a lot of first-round picks. Terrible. Yes, that's okay. true. Yes. Uh, but, but, but I like it. I like what I see. Yeah. Give him a chat. Here yeah. he is. And, and keep Banksy. In, in, because when he comes, Banksy in, in the, uh, back in the, in the bullpen because yeah. he's a veteran guy. He you know what to do. He, he did it before. But I like to see this kid get another opportunity to start. All right. I'm told the Eclipse in the studio is going to be arriving in a few minutes so just letting everyone know there will okay be I'm, I'm too busy working you're too busy working to to appreciate yeah, the clips to, yeah i had to you know i had to start working and get those guys names better yeah you need to focus yes. on the show you yeah, cannot no, be yeah, I don't, I don't you cannot be distracted by an eclipse Who or not even appreciate what can happen on television you have yeah. to focus on your job shoulders shoulders okay that's it yeah, work. schuster you're working schuster, you're schuster. working you're working makes for a better show by the way the white Sox now have four players on their roster who were traded and you know, are acquired for aaron bummer <laughs> there are four now schuster shoemake soroka Nicky Lopez. I don't know what we're going to call him. The Kansas City Atlanta Braves White Sox. <laughs> <laughs> They're loaded with that's Braves good. and Royals. That means that mean that's a good trade. That's a great trade. Oh, for Bummer? For, oh, my God. For, for a reliever. Yeah. For a guy who's going to maybe give you one inning in a game. Three, the Sox, three, three batters. Yeah. You have to face it. The Sox got a starter for one year. Uh, that is uh, that's also Soroka. A trade. Oh, my God. I know. Shoemake, who made an error. We're going to show you that. Uh Schuster pitched three innings today. But here's Shoemake. And uh, it's, it's funny because the somebody told me, but you know me, I don't know, this guy, I think he tried to play. The balls is is it is, 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 is too hard. Yeah. Like too hard, too fast. You see? It's too fast for it all. You gotta slow down to make the ball come to you and slow your body down. Last two errors he make, what he does, he tried to go hard to the ball and he make he, he, he picked the wrong bounce. You know, get the easy one. You slow down, you see the ground ball a lot better, and you, your body be very consistent. It seems like you go down, oh, it's on a stop. The ball's right at him. If you slow down, or well, there, you're, gonna be, you're not going to have any problem. And he also threw home, allowing Another Rokio run. to yeah. get to second base and get in scoring positions. So yeah, and like, besides that, when you, when you drop one, just let him go. Yeah. You can just start make stuff up. You can use yourself in worse the worst position. Okay. Yeah, I, I can see. All right, we got to put our glasses on. Here comes the, the eclipse. Do you have uh, anything you can wear there? You got some special glasses? Okay. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. See, this is, this is a very special moment here uh, for television because we are going to have our very first eclipse on TV. Is it getting darker? I can't tell. Is it getting darker? Wow. By the way, it looked like my house. Oh, in I just Venezuela. looked at it. I just looked. At, I just looked every, at it every every night when the, we know how electricity. <laughs> Amy, where you at? Get the candles out. 
Get the candles out of the We can, I can see you. Is that what it was like in uh, Venezuela? Yeah, right there. Hey, hey hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> I'm oh, taking my glasses okay, off. Okay, no watching TV for Ooh, the rest oh, of the day. Oh, man. See, I, and I just stared at it. I just burned the cornea in my eye. Should never have done that. But you know what's funny? It's true. You know, I don't think it's hard. You know, I look up, I take a pic, I just take a pic. It was kind of hidden there. Yeah. But when I was a kid, we watched that in Venezuela. We don't have no glasses. We, like, we, up and we don't know <laughs> that thing was good or bad. For real. I, was, I remember the clip. You know, I was like maybe eight years old back then, mm -hmm. nine years old. I remember see it. Yeah. Like, we like, ah, oh. my shampoo chain or people like, hey, you're not supposed to be doing that. Well, I did it. I, I, nothing happened to me. All right. Well, it was a special moment in Cleveland for sure. Well, that was awesome. That was a great. Yeah. And we were watching here in Chicago. It was a partially clear. Oh, you did. Yeah, you guys did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Leo, this here, here's how it went. In Cleveland, before the game, everyone, there's Braden Shoemaker. He's got his glasses on. I mean, they had a full eclipse in Cleveland. And that's amazing. Like, we, we didn't get that here in Chicago. Now we only about 20 minutes from, from Cleveland. 20 minutes? Yes. Oh, no, no, it's like well, a six-hour drive. I, what? I, that, how different a town can be only six hours? <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot different, bro. It's a lot different. Yes. It's a lot different. We love our city. Okay. Uh, going to break here on White Sox Post Game Live. When we come back, we're going to hear from Tanner Banks, get some clubhouse reaction and more. Maybe there'll be another eclipse. No, there will not be. I think we, I think we did Wait, the eclipse. I'm too busy. So we'll be watching the clips. You know what? I, I get too busy, too. i got to focus on the show. That's hard I, to I do. I can't appreciate anything other Isn't than the show. Because to, be, to be a producer in this show, when this guy's playing like that, he gets you all. He gets you worry about it. Yes. Congrats. You finished the video. If you want to build on that success, download the NBC Sports Chicago app. It's got highlights, exclusive insights, and push alerts tailored to you. Everything you need to be a real Chicago sports fan. Download it now.